changing things, Madam Speaker. The Democrats came in, they were going to try to bring the troops home, they were going to try to end the war. What happened? What happened? Well, we are trying to do that. Uh, we have a contrast here between a 10-year, $1 trillion war that the President is proposing, and we're talking about a year that the redeployment begins as, as soon as safely possible and ends within a year. That's the yeah, debate. But your candidates, your leading right. candidates, have, uh, Joy, you, that well, all the three leading candidates said that they can see this war going on until 2013. Well, Hillary, yeah. Barack Obama, and uh, John Edwards all well, said that. If, if you subscribe to that, then that would be your answer. But we, no the Democrats in the Congress, do not subscribe to that. Well, let me speak for the Democrats in the House. Okay. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we have some bipartisan support, which I think is important. We're, what we're talking about is. All the generals tell us, the retired generals, that if you're going to have stability in the region, you must begin by redeploying the troops out of Iraq to end the occupation. To even, end even though today we, we had news that the surge is actually working, that civilian deaths in Iraq are down like 50 per, 53 percent with the surge of troops being upwards of 160. Well, it's still a big number, mm -hmm. but the fact is that let's say that the surge would work militarily. Mm -hmm. And to whatever, and let me commend our troops, our men and women in uniform. We are deeply. You know, yeah. But what was the purpose of the surge? The purpose of the surge was to provide a secure environment in which the political change could take place to end the civic, civil uh, discourse wow. and the violence there. That hasn't happened. It hasn't, so, right today. Wait, 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 how much longer? Socialism. No, it, it's about the, the political change that the government must make. The government hasn't made that, even by anybody's standards, including their own and the president's. They haven't met the standard. How much longer should our troops sacrifice their lives when the government of that country is not willing to make the political change necessary. But how can you turn your head at the percentage of deaths that have gone down when in the past people have been quick to jump on? If there was a surge in deaths, they would say this surge is a failure. But now we're seeing a reduction in, in those civilian deaths and giving them the space that they do need for that political change. That is happening in my mind, and I'm sure many others, that's seen as a success. Well, Elizabeth, if I may, with all due respect, there's still a lot of people dying. Yeah. Yeah, there's exactly. still a lot of people dying. Of course. There's still a lot of, of people dying. Of course. Of course. We can look at a way from fighting the war against our no, 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 Let me just say this.